Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to stage 35 of building the Ecto-1, the car from Ghostbusters. Uh, this issue, we're starting with some power. Uh, we've got another battery box, which takes, again, AAA size batteries. They seem to be the thing for part works at the moment, rather than double A's. Don't know why, six of them in this one. There's obviously lots of electronics in this, lots of lights and flashy noises and things. So, uh, yes, we're going to be doing that to begin with. Uh, first of all, we're installing this onto here. I'm going to be careful of obviously all the wire joints broken up through there. It's interesting that it's not from the middle. I don't know. Yeah. For some reason that's how it's wired up. So there we go. Uh, this is going into here. Uh, go which way around. It sort of doesn't really. It's like that by the looks of it. That is going onto there like so so you can get to the batteries obviously from the other side uh, and that is being held in place with ip screws i sort of guessed that because there's loads of them we've got loads of ip screws this time around so uh yeah Let, let's see how well these go in that's located in the right place goes in there quite simply like that there's four of these around the outside of this box So we'll get all of those done and then we'll go back and tighten them up and make sure they're where they should be. Feels like that is. That one also is. There we go. Another way to go. As does that one by the looks of it. Yeah, there we go. So there we have that. Uh, then on top of that goes the other half uh, with the wires obviously coming out through the top, through the hole there. We've got obviously a, a switch and a connection point. Uh, that is going on there. It'll only go the one way round by the looks of it because of the indentations and cutouts. So that's going in there. And guess what? There's four P screws holding that in place as well. Through the bigger holes there. Pull in just a bit and then go back and tighten them all up. Quite nice. I assume this is obviously, as seems to be the thing with these builds, uh, this is the, the petrol tank, the, the fuel tank. So uh, it's quite nice that it is actually now containing the fuel for the build, the batteries. It's quite, it, it suits me. Seems a little bit tight. So let's use a real screwdriver to get these tightened up in there for some reason. Go. That one, that one, that one, and the last one. There we go. Uh, now on the other side of this, we have the removable cover. Uh, interestingly, this one isn't screwed in place. It just pops in over there. I have, I've got this in the wrong way around. Well, it looked like it was from the wires. There's actually little indentations in there, uh, just here and here, that that goes under. So that's what you've got to aim for. Get that the right way around, and then you can worry about other things. Right, so I shall get that apart. We'll get that put back together the right way around, uh, and then I'll bring in the chassis itself, and we'll get the rest of it installed onto there. So might be a moment. Okay, that's all done properly again now. Uh, we have the battery box cover, which sits on the underside over there. There's obviously three screw holes and one little pin. So that will go in there. Uh, that is held in place with three more IP screws from the other side. So now we've got to get the tricky turning it over. Being a huge star as well. There we go. We'll get that turned over. I'll be able to hold that here while I get... At least one of these screws in then it won't form let's get that in a bit better off getting them all in while i'm here there I, I'm, I'm thinking now wait a minute i'm, I'm double checking is this going on the wrong side no, it does. It attaches from here. 
All oh, right, and the bracket goes over the top. I was thinking the other thing would go the other side, but no, it, this is correct. This goes on there like that. Not entirely certain what or why, but this is just the bracket at a fixing point that the battery box will sit on top of. I'm assuming that should you need to, that's why it's got the hole there so you can you know, poke it out and push it through. Uh, so that's that from this side. Now I need to turn it over again. Just like so. And all the interesting stuff happens on this side. So we've got the battery box that I've now done properly. So the cover actually goes onto it. No batteries in there as yet. So that's that. Uh, this, obviously the wires need to go through that hole there as well. We'll be playing with those on the other side in a little while. And get them all poked through that hole. There we go. That's about it. Right, so we've got little fixing points obviously on there where that attaches thusly. Uh, and this is actually held in place uh, with some BM screws using these brackets. That's quite an interesting way of doing it. I'm assuming these are obviously original parts. Uh, they, they would normally hold the fuel tank in place. So I like that. I like where it uses, you know, sort of a scale version of the real thing to do something very similar. That needs to go through there and into there. And the same on the other side. There. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Uh, I'll get those tightened up fully afterwards. <clears throat> Let's get the other side in. Make sure everything balances as it should. On there and that one. See it. I haven't got the screw on there properly. Yep. Go through there and should automatically just line up. And it looks like it does. So yeah, that will hold that in place. I like it. The underside is looking quite interesting. There's lots of wires and stuff and the axles and gears and wheels and everything in there. So there we have that. Uh, now I need to turn it over one more time. Because we've still got to fix the switch, uh, which is what these EM screws will come into play with. So the switch itself is coming over here. Let's get the wires out. Uh, that one, it's got coming off over this way, which obviously is going to connect up to electronics and circuits and stuff. But this is going on there. Uh, has it got any, any idea? There's nothing to say which way is on and off. I think I'm going to flick it forwards to go on. So I'm going to put it in that way round. Um, it just says do it. It doesn't say it's in any particular way. If I do find out that it's the wrong way around, then obviously I can just pop it out and turn it around again. But I'm pretty sure it's actually not going to matter. It just makes more sense to me to, you know, when you want something to go, when it's going on, I'm going to push it to the front of the car. The way it seems to make sense to me. So there we have that. I do need to get that tightened down. I need to maneuver it so I can get to that. But that's there. That's loose there. And that is the end of this part of the build. We fitted the battery box. No batteries in it as yet, but it's it's in there. It's through there. I like it. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, next time we are... What are we doing next time? Let me have a flick it ahead and see. Uh, next time we are fitting the fuel tube and steering wheel parts. I've uh, got a very quick build next time. So... Next time we'll be having a look through the magazine as well. And that's the last time we're going to be playing with the chassis for a little while. I think we're doing a lot of internal stuff on separate parts. So I shall see you very shortly for that. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.